What's up, guys? You gonna go or what? Um, Wednesday, 6 1 22. Year's half over. Unbelievable. This year has flown by. But we did get everything in the garden except our last batch of corn, which goes in this coming weekend. It's looking great. Holy cow. I hope you guys, man, if you got an ounce of dirt in your yard, I hope you got something growing in it. But, we'll leave that bridge alone. You guys know what's coming. I was talking to my 94-year-old mother-in-law, and I, I asked her, If she remembers the Great Depression, she remembers. They were farmers in the Cotton Belt, Arkansas, Jonesboro, down in that area. I don't know if you guys know anything about Arkansas, the east end of it, flat as a tabletop. They actually grow rice down there so flat, they just berm up a field and flood it with water and plant and plant uh, rice. No shit. They still, do, still grow cotton down there, too. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, she said that it, it definitely affected them. She was too young for the actual depression. She, she's actually just been born. <laughs> so, for her family, because they were in farm country anyways, they had a massive garden. Chickens. I keep trying to think of how people did it in the old days. So I wanted to pick her brain. She was telling me about uh, ration stamps. They would mail out little coupon books, and you were allotted one pound, two pounds of flour a month. No sugar, no sugar. Uh, two pounds of butter. I don't know, I can't remember it all, but it was the very basic necessities to make biscuits and bread. Very, very basics. And then the rest of it, they had to provide themselves. Uh, chickens for eggs, chickens for meat. Trading with farmers for beef. She said that it affected her until World War II. And then everybody went off to war. The GIs were sending money home to the families. And that's how they, that's how they made it. Shit, most of these families now, when the internet goes down, they freak out. The internet's down. How long has it been? An hour, and you're freaking out already? Not believable. But yeah, I thought that was very interesting to hear. You know, you talk to these these old people, man. They they lived through that shit. They know what it was like. Harvest season. They can, and can, and can, and can, and that's what we're doing. I like macaroni and cheese. She don't. I found some on sale today. There were three packs. I picked up three three packs of mac and cheese for the shelf. It was a little expensive, but 
this macaroni and cheese, man. You can make it with water. It doesn't taste near as good. But you don't have to have milk. And I keep trying to think of other things that I can get in the house without her freaking out on me. I want canned goods. We, we have money to buy cases of soups. And, and I'm, not, I'm not big on their veggies. Canned veggies taste like shit because we got fresh garden food. Shit. I think last year we picked green beans seven or eight times. We sat... Pick green beans, go in the house, watch Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, snap green beans the whole time. She bag them into meal size bags, vacuum seal them, throw them in the freezer. When it came time to cook, grab a bag. We're, we still have green beans. She, she doesn't want to plant a lot of green beans this year. It's like, honey, we've got five miles to feed now. How do you like that? We went from two miles to her, myself, and a 10-year-old grandbaby, an 11-year-old grandbaby, and 13-year-old grandson comes over. So yeah, we went from two miles to five. That'll put a dent in your supply, man. You know, and she's, she knows the prices are going up, but she's not foreseeing the shortage that's coming. That's what I cannot get her. She's worried about cost. I'm worried about supply. huge difference. We know inflation sucks. We, we know it. Supply is a different story. I need to pick up a bunch of evaporated milk. Uh, you can get powdered milk. It doesn't taste as good, but it's powdered milk. She keeps one bag of flour around. We need a five-gallon bucket full. I'm going to work on that. I don't know how I'm going to get into the basement without her seeing it, but I'm going to work on that. Flour, sugar, salt, yeast. Cooking yeast. Yellow yeast, I think it's called. Yeah, um, the life story of somebody that lived through the depression. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. All right, just a little tidbit. Nope, oh, my grandson, the 29 year old. <sighs> he lost his job for. bitching about his supervisor. Come to find out, the supervisor didn't like him either, so the boss fired my grandson. Well, it's been two, two weeks, two and a half weeks, and I've been on my grandson for applications. Go knock on the door. Go ask him about it. Go take care of it. Do something. He went down to South Bend with his girlfriend. And they walked into her work, which is a hotel. And they put him to work instantly. Today was his second day working. Awesome. 
so he's employed and probably going to move out of my house, out of our house, and to South Bend. I hate that he's moved to a city, but he's out of my house. It's huge. It's a big deal, man. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. All right. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend. You know I did. Uh, praying for you. Praying for the world. Peace.